So this is usually the time that I launch right into the message that I have to share with you. And I will do that, but not before doing something that is truly an honor and something very, very special. Something that in almost 37 years of ministry now, I've not yet had the privilege of doing. And before I tell you exactly what that is, I want to let you know that it is not just something that I have the honor of doing, but that you, I feel, have the honor of witnessing and knowing that you actually have been an indirect part of this. If you have been involved in this community at all, if you have served in any of the many ways that we need volunteer help and support, if you have shared ideas, if you have attended classes, if you financially support this center, then you have actually helped to make happen what is about to happen. I am going to be ordaining a brand new Unity Minister today, and you have helped her to become that. So as Florence Monzon takes the platform, I'd like you to give her a round of applause. Florence. Thank you for that, for that love and that support for, for Florence. So it was in 1993 that Florence found her way to our church, which was then called the Church of Today, and we were in Mission Valley. And she sat there and was part of our community for 10 years. And during the time of listening to messages and meditating and listening to music and taking lots of classes, something called her into her own realization that she wanted to become a unity minister. And she began that process, a process that requires an awful lot of study and devotion and inner work and stretching and growing through all sorts of things. She is being ordained today, and I have had the honor not only of being the first Unity Church that she attended, the inter her introduction to Unity, but she asked me a number of years ago if I would mentor her, because that was also a part of her training. So what you may not be aware of are all the things that go on in a church between Sunday to Sunday. And one of those things has been for three years, my mentoring Florence, answering whatever questions she had to the best of my ability and encouraging her in pioneering a work in the Philippines, Unity Philippines Spiritual Center. And she's taught me in lots of different ways. First of all, she's taught me with her pure heart and positiveness and her deep, deep prayer practice. She's also helped me to expand my understanding that things that work in a church in the US don't necessarily work the same way in the <laughs> Philippines. And, and we would spend time together trying to figure out, well, how do you change what works in the States to what might work in the Philippines? And so, Florence, I want to begin the process of ordaining you. Unity Worldwide Ministries, you know, has a code of ethics for our ministers. And it is important that we honor this code inside and outside. And so I have some questions to ask you and some things that I would like you to affirm with me. Florence, do you affirm your responsibility as a minister of Unity Worldwide Ministries? I do so affirm. And I'd like you to affirm with me. Just hold it close. Okay. I know you're excited <laughs> and nervous and it's okay. Please affirm with me, I am unity. Together, 
I am unity. unity. I affirm my unity with God. Together, I affirm, I affirm my, my unity, unity with, with God. God. Florence, do you affirm your consecration to God? Do you affirm that you will look to the indwelling Christ as your source? Do you affirm your dedication to the principles of truth to teach and to express? I do so affirm. Please repeat after me. I affirm my unity with myself. Together, I affirm my unity with myself. Florence, do you affirm your belief in the power of prayer by praying regularly? Do you recognize that you teach more by what you are than by what you say? Do you affirm your integrity as a minister by high ethical and moral behavior? Do you affirm that should you experience a personal crisis which could affect your ministry, you shall inform and cooperate with Unity Worldwide Ministries? I do so affirm. And please repeat after me. I affirm my unity with all ministers together. I, I affirm, affirm my, my unity with, with all ministers. ministers. Florence, do you agree to respect all ministers and protect their honor? Do you agree to be particularly careful to avoid criticism of the minister who precedes you? Do you agree to seek the advancement of all the unity ministers? Do you agree to conduct yourself and your ministry without competition or contention, realizing that we do our best work together in unity? Do you commit to working in harmony with Unity Worldwide Ministries in what you teach, where you teach, and to whom you teach? I do so affirm. And please repeat after me. I affirm my unity with all people. Together, I, I affirm, affirm my, my unity with all people. people. Florence, will you give the people you serve sincere and faithful leadership? Do you affirm the sacredness of every confidence shared with you? Will you lovingly respect other churches and metaphysical groups? Do you affirm your love for all people, regardless of race, background, sexual orientation, or religion? Will you seek to bring to all people the freeing truth of God within? I do so affirm. And please repeat each of these statements after me. I am in unity with the one. Together, I, I am, am in, in unity, unity with, with the, the one. one. I am one with the one. Together, I am one, I am with, one, the one. <laughs> with the one. And I am together. And I am. Florence, I want to anoint you with a chakra Ayurvedic essential oil, and it is associated with a heart chakra. And though we have seven chakras, and each of them is important and special, and when we work with the chakras, we always ask that they are all open and in balance. But knowing you as I know you, and knowing your deep and beautiful heart, I want to anoint you with the oil associated with the heart that your words may always come from your heart, that how you look out upon your congregation and the work you're called to do comes from your heart, that you're able to listen both to the voice of God within and to the guidance of those around you from the heart, that your hands move and serve from the heart, and that you think with the wisdom of the heart. May you and all the work that you do as a unity minister be blessed and be held as sacred and holy. And it is my privilege to place this interfaith stole upon you. Let me have your hands for a minute. And to be the first to call you Reverend Florence Manzan. <laughs>
Thank you so much. 23 years ago, I stepped into the church of today with Wendy as this, the minister, and I didn't have a clue what unity is about. After the meditation, I was hooked. <laughs> and 10 years after, I sat way at the back, because shortly after the, the first time that I attended unity in Mission Valley, they moved to this beautiful place. And I would sit in the back and like a baby was a sponge, just listening and taking in what Wendy always said week after week. And I realized that when I was a Catholic and I grew up Catholic, God loved me so much. And then I was a Lutheran for two years and God loved me so much. And then I became a born-again Christian for three years, and God loved me so much. And I must be really searching because then I found the unity. And then I realized how much I love God so much. So thank you so much, Reverend Wendy, for opening the way. Thank you, thank you. Who would have thought I would be here? You're welcome. <laughs> it has been a wonderful, delightful joyride. <laughs> and thank you so much to my husband, who's always been there every step of the way. Robert. <laughs> thank you, Dad. Thank you so much. <laughs> and all my friends here who have shared the journey with me, whether they know it or not. Thank you. Bless you, Florence. Reverend Florence. All righty. Thank you. You know, I've made a joke in the past about sitting in the back. I know too many people who have wound up becoming unity ministers who began their journey in a unity church sitting in the back near an aisle, near a door to make a quick exit if anything got a little too weird or, or strange. So I'm watching you guys back there. Thank you for loving and supporting Florence and knowing that the reach of the Unity Center has expanded in, in, in this way. 